I'm using I to rewrite square roots of negative numbers. Now, before we start talking about that, we need to understand the definition of I. I is equal to the square root of negative one. And because of that, if I were to square this side, I get I squared. And if I were to square this side, that would undo the house, and so I would just have negative one. So these are basically the two parts of the definition of I. I itself equals the square root of negative one, and I squared equals just negative one, okay? We need to remember these pieces that, I mean, if you don't remember it, you definitely need to have it on your note sheet. Those very, very, very important, okay? So th what that means is that when you're taking an expression like this, you can rewrite it as negative one times 49. And because negative one and 49 are both real numbers, you can separate it into the square root of negative one and the square root of 49. And then the square root of 49 we know is seven, and by definition, we know that the square root of negative one is i. Now think of i, it'll play like a variable, but it's not really a variable, right? Because it equals a number. It equals the square root of negative one. But normally when we have letters involved, we usually like to write the coefficients in the front next to the variable. So we usually like to write it like this, 7i, okay? Now, there is a shortcut to getting to that response, and the shortcut is, is if I have the square root of negative 49, I can take this negative out, but when I do, it becomes an i. And then I take this, the value of square root of 49, and I get seven, and so I still get that 7i. So you're essentially doing the same thing, right? You're separating this with a negative, separating the two radicals, and then taking it out as an I. So you're still doing the same process, it's just a little bit faster to just draw an arrow and say I'm taking the negative out and it's becoming an I, okay? Same thing here, you have to be careful with this one with the negative and the negative. You could take the negative out and when you take it out, it becomes an I. And then now this is just the square root of eight. But there was already a negative there to begin with, so that negative does have to come down. And then when you do the square root of eight, you actually get two square root of two, if you simplify it using your calculator or using your math for roots. And then again, we don't like to write numbers like this, we like to write two i, and then of course your radical stays on the side. Sometimes, eventually, what they'll want is they'll want you write your numbers in the form bi. You can't see that. bi. So what that means is they like this i after the entire number. So they like to see negative 2 square root of 2 and then the i on the side. Okay. Now when I write it on paper, I put a space in between. When you're writing your answers inside Alex, you are not going to put a space in between but you do need to make sure that this i is not underneath the radical. It has become outside the radical. So make sure that that radical stops after the two and is not on top of the i as well. Because that's different than this, okay? This is not the response. The i should not be inside the radical. Remember, the negative came out as an I. So that I is on the outside. So just be careful when you write those in Alex.